Hey everyone, welcome to our podcast, Grace Point Life. Podcast where we're going to talk about all things Grace Point, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is our introduction episode and to our podcast on our YouTube channel. So um, probably what we should do we is go. start off introducing ourselves. Who are these guys repping Grace Point, right? Yep. So um, could I introduce you, actually? Sure. Can I do that? Great. Thank go you. So I am honored to be co-hosting this podcast with the Prince of Grace Point royalty just thank you for allowing me to be here yeah, you're welcome um <laughs> no, okay, now yeah, i'm gonna introduce yeah. myself now um so my name is isaiah uh for our listeners uh i am uh, i guess the most significant thing about me is that i am the son of pastor ed and kelly who are in fact the senior pastors of grace point which is why steven likes to call me that um but mm -hmm. nobody else in the world does that except no, for him just me and uh my story is pretty simple i was born into this church that's how i came first i uh you know met jesus personally along the way started doing college ministry after i graduated and uh, now i am leading our church at philly full-time along with steven we sort of co-lead this thing yeah. so yeah that's yeah. my story how about that's great Tell us a little bit about yourself, Stephen. Yeah, so um, I um, my name is Stephen. I'm from L.A., Roland Heights. If you guys know where that is, best Asian food in California, hands down. Um, and uh, I came to our church as a freshman in college. I was looking for a church. I was really active in church, super active. Yeah, he was like super church. Super church. Um, as churched as can be. And... Um, came to our church, and, and even though I'd been to so many churches and experienced a lot of church, I never experienced anything like I'd experienced at Grace Point. And it blew me away. I remember going to like my first welcome event and seeing people like the caterers, like give out food and realizing those are not professional caterers. Those are church members. How did you guys get your church members to serve food at this event? Right. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like, even from something like that, I just realized this is kind of a different church. And I knew that this is where I wanted to be um, and to learn about. And and now 14 years later, like as we're, we're planning a church together. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. And um, Isaiah and I actually go way back. Uh, we have, man, 14 years of friendship. Um, we gr went went to the same, what am I saying? Went to college together. Went to college together. Enter the same year. Yeah, yeah, we kind of have parallel lives, actually. It's a little weird. We went to mm -hmm. college and graduated the same year, obviously. But more than that, uh, we were like the same role in our, in the, like the student council. Started we praise together. started doing praise at the same time. Yeah. We started dating at the same time. We other broke up people, at the same time. Not, not, we didn't start dating each other. <laughs> we started dating our respective spouses at the same time and then broke off our relationship the same year and then yeah. started up again the same year and then got married the same year and then had kids the same year. Yeah, and yeah. then now we are... Yeah, now we're both in Philly planting a church together. So yeah. it's kind of weird. Really awesome. Mm -hmm. really neat. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's what he meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, full disclosure, uh, we are like not dying to make this podcast or anything like that. So we feel a little weird. That's yeah. probably more accurate. We feel yeah, a little weird a talking about our church on the internet. We'd much rather stay under the radar, just, you know, I'm not even on social media. You know, that's that's just a personal decision. Um, and so like, why are we making this podcast about our church? Why are we doing it now? What's your what's your top reason for making this podcast? Yeah, uh, good. that's a great question. I think for me, um, I, mean, I think for me, it's an opportunity to put our ministry philosophy out there in a way that's sort of public and accessible and like an opportunity for us to even think that through. I think honestly, like when people come to our church, um, and I think I'm sure you've had the same experience, Stephen, yeah. but when mm -hmm. people come to our church, their experience of it is that it's very different um, from what <laughs> they've experienced and, yeah. you know, different being the nice word. People use other words for that sometimes. Um, another way to think about it is we're, we're pretty weird as a church. <laughs> and um, I think part of our goal here is to answer the question like, why do you guys do things the way you do? Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's reasons for it, obviously. We believe pretty strongly uh, that the way we do church is biblical. You know, I'm not saying we're like the best church or anything like that, or that it's the only way, but we do feel like, yeah, God's given us a pretty kind of unique uh, experience of church that we share. And mm -hmm. if talking about that experience can help people just understand us, and also as a listener, you know, if it, you know, maybe gives you some ideas or uh, helps you to just think differently, maybe think bigger a little bit about what church is and can be, then that would be a huge win in my book. Yeah, yeah, that would be a huge win. Um, personally, for me, uh, why I'm making this podcast, like I said, I came to our church, I loved it. Um, and 
but I found it really hard to describe to my family and my friends what I was experiencing here. And there wasn't anything online that I could point them to to sort of help them see like what God was doing at this church. And that was honestly kind of a frustrating experience because there was good stuff happening here. I was really loving it. And, and I just couldn't share that with people, you know? And I think a lot of our church members are kind of in that same boat, you know? And um, if anything we do here helps our church members to sort of articulate and clarify what's happening here and even help new people who are checking out our church sort of understand our church as well. Um, I'm all for that. So. Yeah. And just to be honest, I think uh, part of the impetus for this is that if you go online and you look up our church, uh, mm-hmm. most of what you're going to read is, is kind of negative. I think yep. there's a prevailing narrative about us out there on the internet. Yeah. And we have held back, I think, from really responding to that or sort mm-hmm. of giving our side of the story for a long time uh, for various reasons. We feel like uh, there, we've come to a point where it's time to start just speaking up a yeah. little bit, giving our side of the story defending what we do and how we do it and why we do it and just explaining that so people can kind of understand hopefully our side of the story. So yeah, that, that is part of the impetus. Yeah. And so we're going to get really specific. We're going to get mm-hmm. all the way down the weeds. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna we're go going there. There. Yeah. And it's going to be fun and not so fun. But like <laughs> we said, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But we also want to talk about what's beautiful too. Yeah. Like what, what has God done here? And we, we need to celebrate that as well. Yeah. And so we'll be trying our best to drop regular episodes, mm-hmm. but between uh, raising kids. Got two. And, yeah, I got one, one on the way. Um, and that and planning a church, it's pretty busy, but um, you know, hit like, subscribe. We'll, we, we'll, we'll try to get as much as we can out there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, see you guys next week. Next week. <laughs>